One of the world's most respected physicists, Michio Kaku, has recently spoken about an extraordinary discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope. Known for his work bridging classical physics and quantum mechanics, Kaku has always embraced bold ideas and groundbreaking discoveries. Unlike many scientists who approach the universe cautiously, he is willing to challenge traditional frameworks when evidence demands it. And now, the findings revealed by Webb are nothing short of remarkable. Six massive galaxies have been detected in the early universe that, according to our current understanding, should not exist. Each of these galaxies is significantly larger than the Milky Way, and yet they formed only 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. This is a time when, according to the standard cosmological model, the universe was still chaotic, hot, and rapidly expanding. Stars were just beginning to ignite, gas clouds were coalescing, and galaxies were in the earliest stages of formation. To find fully formed massive galaxies in such a short cosmic span challenges everything astronomers thought they knew about the timeline of the universe. Kaku emphasizes the profound implications of this discovery. If these galaxies truly exist as observed, we must reconsider how quickly matter can organize into complex structures. Either the universe is older than our current calculations suggest, giving more time for galaxies to grow, or the processes that form galaxies are far faster and more efficient than previously imagined. Both possibilities demand a re-evaluation of key assumptions underlying the Big Bang theory, a model that has been foundational in cosmology for nearly a century. The reaction within the scientific community has been mixed. Some researchers are skeptical, some are dismissive, and a few have expressed outright hostility toward these results. Yet Kaku maintains that skepticism is natural in science, but outright dismissal without investigation is a mistake. Science advances through evidence, he argues, not prestige or tradition. Throughout history, human understanding has evolved as old theories were replaced by explanations that could better account for observed phenomena. The same principle now applies to the early universe. The Big Bang theory itself was established in the early 20th century, based on the observation that galaxies appear to recede from each other, implying an expanding universe. Subsequent discoveries, such as the cosmic microwave background radiation and detailed redshift measurements, reinforced this model. However, the discovery of these six massive galaxies introduces a complication, they appear far more mature and organized than the theory predicts at such an early stage of cosmic evolution. Understanding redshift is central to grasping why these galaxies are so surprising. Redshift occurs when light from a source moving away from us stretches to longer, redder wavelengths. It is analogous to the Doppler effect in sound. The pitch of a passing siren rises as it approaches and falls as it recedes. In astronomy, redshift measurements allow scientists to determine how fast objects are moving away and, indirectly, how far they are from us. Webb's instruments have detected extreme redshifts from these galaxies, confirming their vast distances and placing them firmly in the first billion years of cosmic history. Previous telescopes, such as Hubble, were unable to peer so far back with the clarity Webb provides. Infrared observations allow astronomers to see past clouds of dust and gas and detect faint light that has traveled for over 13 billion years. For the first time, we can observe galaxies forming in an era when the universe was a fraction of its current age. These six galaxies are producing stars at a staggering rate, hundreds per year, far exceeding the rate of star formation in our own Milky Way today. Such prolific activity at this early time was entirely unexpected. The discovery also raises deeper questions about the methods used to measure cosmic distances and ages. Could errors in redshift calculations or observational bias account for these surprising results? While some argue this possibility, Kaku insists that even the most extraordinary findings must be taken seriously until disproven. History has repeatedly shown that major breakthroughs often emerge from observations that challenge deeply held assumptions. 
Dismissing anomalies too quickly risks missing transformative insights into the nature of the cosmos. From Kaku's perspective, the universe is far more complex and dynamic than any single theory can fully describe. While Einstein's relativity and Newton's laws provide essential frameworks, they cannot explain the nuances of galaxy formation or the emergence of structure in the young universe. These massive galaxies suggest that cosmic evolution may operate under principles we have yet to uncover. It is a reminder that the universe often exceeds our expectations, forcing us to remain humble and open-minded. The scientific community now faces a choice. Cling to traditional models or confront the possibility that the early universe evolved in ways far more rapid and intricate than previously believed. If confirmed, these galaxies could indicate that star formation, galactic clustering, and the creation of cosmic structures happened at a pace that challenges long-standing assumptions. Some may even speculate that these observations hint at unknown physical processes or forces influencing the formation of matter. Kaku stresses that science is never static. Theories are tools, not absolute truths. They are constantly refined or replaced in the face of new evidence. Just as humanity once believed the Earth was flat or that the Sun revolved around us, today's cosmological models may also require adjustment. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unprecedented sensitivity and infrared capabilities, provides a glimpse of phenomena previously unimaginable, allowing scientists to peer directly into the infancy of the universe. Each of these six galaxies offers a wealth of information. Their presence helps astronomers understand how stars formed, how galaxies evolved, and how cosmic structures emerged in the first billion years. Even subtle measurements of brightness, shape, and stellar population provide critical data for testing and refining cosmological models. These galaxies remind us that the universe is a dynamic, evolving system, far more intricate than simplified diagrams or theoretical constructs can capture. Redshift remains a crucial tool for interpreting these observations. By analyzing the light from distant galaxies, astronomers can estimate both distance and age, creating a timeline of cosmic history. Webb's detection of extreme redshift galaxies pushes these methods to their limits. Confirming the nature of these galaxies will require continued observation, careful analysis, and rigorous cross-checking with models and simulations. Ultimately, Kaku's message is one of curiosity and humility. Science thrives when evidence is embraced, when assumptions are questioned, and when the universe is allowed to surprise us. The discovery of these six massive galaxies represents both a challenge and an opportunity. A moment where observation forces theory to catch up. It is a reminder that the cosmos is infinitely richer and more complex than our current understanding. For the public, this discovery highlights the importance of continued exploration and investment in scientific tools. Telescopes like James Webb are not only confirming decades-old predictions but are also uncovering mysteries that inspire wonder and demand new thinking. The universe continues to surprise us, revealing phenomena that compel us to reimagine cosmic history and the processes that shape the galaxies we observe today. As we study these galaxies, our understanding of the early universe may shift dramatically. We may rewrite textbooks, refine cosmological simulations, and deepen our appreciation of the forces shaping everything from the tiniest atom to the largest galactic supercluster. Science is a journey, not a destination. Each discovery expands our knowledge, challenges our assumptions, and reminds us of the vastness and mystery of existence itself. Kaku's perspective is clear. The universe is not static. It evolves, surprises, and teaches. These massive galaxies may force us to rethink the timeline of cosmic evolution, the speed of star formation, and the mechanisms that shape the universe. Webb has opened a window into the unimaginable, revealing that our models, though powerful, are still only approximations of a far more intricate reality. In the end, this discovery is a call to curiosity, patience, and imagination. 
It reminds us that the universe is alive with phenomena waiting to be explored. Each observation, each measurement, each new galaxy brings us closer to understanding the cosmos and our place within it. And as Webb continues to scan the sky, humanity watches, learns, and dreams, knowing that the universe still holds secrets far beyond what we have dared to imagine. Science thrives on evidence, not certainty. The six massive galaxies discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope challenge our preconceptions, push the limits of observation, and invite us to explore the unknown. They remind us that curiosity is the engine of discovery, and that the cosmos will always have more to teach. In the coming years, as data is analyzed and theories refined, we may find that the early universe was far more spectacular, dynamic, and mysterious than we ever imagined. This is the story of discovery, of daring to look further, and of acknowledging that every answer we uncover only deepens the mystery. And as we continue to explore, we must carry with us both humility and wonder, knowing that the universe is vast, ancient, and far more complex than we can yet comprehend. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us a glimpse into this complexity, and Michio Kaku reminds us that true understanding requires an open mind, rigorous inquiry, and the courage to follow the evidence wherever it leads.